Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to take a look at this roadmap to WordPress 6.7 posted just a mere few hours ago by Ann McCarthy. Um, roadmap to 6.7. These are the things that are leading up to, of course, the new 2025 theme, a bunch of other features coming into WordPress 6.7. And I want to highlight some of the things that are uh, you know things that we can actually touch, feel, and experience right now. There's a lot of stuff under the hood that's happening, stuff that's much more for developer-oriented crowd, but uh, I want to just talk about the things that you and I, the normal WordPress or power user of WordPress, can touch and feel right now. Starting with the 2025 theme, I did a pre-release video on this already on the channel. Uh, it was so early <laughs> that you couldn't even install the theme and actually see anything. Now you can. I've uploaded uh, the theme, which you can download from the GitHub repo, which I'll link up in the show notes below. Uh, and this is what it looks like. Again, this is just the framework of this theme. This is not uh, a fully completed theme yet. Um, but the idea is that you can start getting involved with giving feedback, testing what they have now, giving design feedback, um, maybe by looking at the Figma uh, link that shows all of the design patterns that are coming. If you go into the dashboard, go to appearance and editor, we can start to see all of the templates that they have as of this recording on September 3rd, uh, just the, the high level stuff. Archive, blog home, index, 404 page search results. There is no other home page built uh, in a template fashion just yet. As it is shipped, I'll do more videos on that. Uh, but right now you can see, here's where we're at with templates. And then if we look at patterns, uh, you can see some of these patterns starting to take shape that will, you know, make up the the entirety of 2025. So if you want to start getting involved, start seeing this stuff come together, jump into uh, the GitHub repo for 2025. Next up, two important areas for the future of WordPress, both as an admin as a, and as a sort of no-code developer tool. Uh, we have data views and polishing the query loop. Uh, I can't show much on the query loop. I didn't see much change in terms of that experience. Um, that's something you should really keep a close eye on because that's really gonna change the way developers can come into WordPress and start querying content, displaying content in different ways, putting it on templates, putting it in template parts, making the whole site a lot more dynamic. I'm sure we'll start to see that enhance even more once custom fields are a part uh, of WordPress. But the data views is something that also touches that. Data views, I think, can also be used in the future from a front-end perspective as much as it's being used in the back-end. This is the thing that years ago, I would say we would have different flavors of WordPress, like it would actually you'd actually experience the content differently. I think data views starts to lean us in that direction um, and on a, a lot of accounts. For example, pages and posts and how do you interact with that? That's what that umbrella, that data views puts over that kind of content in your admin. Not only does it visually look different, but it's unlocking certain features for organizing that data. You can create your own custom views in terms of looking at pages and posts on your site. So like right now, I know there's not a lot of pages here, but these are just two pages. This is what pages will look like in the admin in the future um, as, it, as the new WordPress admin takes shape. Uh, this is just a very small sample size. I also did a um, video on showing the new post pages, which looks exactly like this, powered by data views. Is that a thing I can say, powered by data views? Where you can look at this post and pages in a grid and filter it and just do a lot more with it. Um, a lot snappier with a lot more control. Like I said, not much changed on the query loop side of things that I can really show off, uh, but data views starting to take shape and you can start playing with it today. In the playground, I'm using the WordPress nightly build and uh, Gutenberg. Uh, with all of the experimental stuff turned on. Okay, next up is zoom out to compose with patterns. I've been wanting something like this for a while because if you're working with a lengthy blog post or a homepage with a ton of patterns and blocks and you're trying to really fit something in to see how it looks from a zoomed out perspective, like I just want to place this here, I want to take a step back and see if this works. Zoom out to compose with patterns is going to be uh, a real nice game changer for that context. If I'm in a page right now and I want to place a pattern, even though this is a small page, I go to patterns, call to action. You can see it zooms out and then allows me to place these patterns in from that zoomed out perspective. And then I can move these patterns around um, a lot easier with a, with a lot less scrolling up and down to find where the pattern starts and where it ends in between a whole bunch of other stuff. 
very simple, very nice. I like this. I, you know, really want to see this enhanced experience for, you know, working with the templates and putting in my blocks and patterns to design a full page, zooming in, changing head, heading uh, sizes, colors and stuff, spacing. This is going to be great. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see this mature and just get into WordPress because it's something that I want right now. Another big thing coming into um, the media side in WordPress 6.7 is the HEIC support. Uh, take a picture with your iPhone, post it right into your uh, blog post or page. It will convert it uh, for users without having to change uh, the file format prior to uploading it. Um, there's still a lot of development to be, I guess, done on this kind of um, feature and maybe even some server-side support for it, but check it out, um, the GitHub, and check out all of the um, issues or uh, updates coming for that. So if it's something that's important to you, maybe you're building a mobile app with WordPress and you're maybe you have a lot of users submitting user-generated content uh, through their iPhone and the HEIC photos have always been always been an issue. Hopefully that'll be served or saved um, in WordPress 6.7. Next up under design tools, we have a whole list of changes coming to a lot of core blocks um, inside WordPress, giving it more, expanding more on the appearances and design aspects. One thing I really want to touch on though is the edit and apply font size presets. I think this is something that a lot of folks have requested in the past. If we go into the site editor, and we select typography, we can go to the font size presets and all of the small, medium, large, extra large, you can start to control all of that uh, and define all of that right inside your block-based theme, naturally the, the core theme that ships with WordPress, or even make your own custom font size uh, by clicking on the custom uh, plus button and then adding in your own typography size setting there. So I think that is another win in the column of designing in the browser with uh, with WordPress, with Gutenberg, with the future uh, core themes. So thumbs up to that new feature. Once again, there's a lot of stuff under the hood happening. Uh, template registration API, preview options API, interactivity API, block bindings, HTML API, all of these things are really gonna improve how plugins, themes coordinate with the core of WordPress. It's gonna ultimately make um, better stuff for WordPress in the future. It's not something that you're really touching and seeing, not yet anyway. Um, block bindings with custom fields, that'll be a, an eventual thing where you're in there creating custom fields, associating it to templates, creating dynamic queries, but we're not there yet. Uh, one last thing that you can start to sink your uh, teeth into, I almost said sink your hands into, is the polish board. If there's something here that you're looking for in WordPress or you see something that you wanna contribute to this is a great board to take a look at to see the backlog, needs design, needs development, um, things that are in progress, things that need to be reviewed, uh, or things that have already been accomplished. You can click into these moments in time in the development cycle of WordPress 6.7 and punch in to see where things are at. If you have questions, comments, concerns, it's a great place to really find the source of truth here and see who's actually working on it. Um, you know, I, I know recently, the delete page button was hidden and uh, a lot of folks on Twitter were saying, hey, why did that happen? Well, now's a chance where we can maybe catch these things before they you know, ship to core WordPress. I don't know if we'll ever get the delete button uh, prominent again on, on, the, uh, on the options panel, uh, but uh, yeah, these are one of those things where this stuff is being developed. If there's something that's really critical to the way you use WordPress, your product uh, in the WordPress world, jump into the polish board and take a look at it. WordPress 6.7, coming soon. Start diving in and seeing everything changing. Load up uh, the playground. In this case, I was using the nightly build of uh, playground and installing Gutenberg and enabling all of the experimental functions. It's a great way to see all of the bleeding edge stuff without ruining your own WordPress website because you know we don't want that to happen. Comment below, subscribe to the channel if you want more WordPress 6.7 coming soon. See you in the next video.